Oh, people have been cracking me up all week, girl. <laughs> Are we good? Let's just go. All right, here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. News to report. Now we're switching modes. We're normally entertainment and fun, but now we're in legal mode. Yes, we got the crime report. Yes, and yes. the trademark report <laughs> happening this week. <laughs> All, all of it surrounding Mariah. A lot of reports going on here. Yes, so paperwork, we, admin. Yes, and know, lawyers, lawyers, and legals, mm -hmm. and fees, and all kinds of things. But we're going to do it. Yes, here we are. We are here for the reports. Yes. <laughs> However, let's not forget we are still anticipating. I think we're technically in the era of Butterfly Twenty Five. I think we are because Honey, it, Honey had its anniversary already. Mm -hmm. So, like, we are officially in Butter tw Butterfly Twenty Five now. Right, right. Technically, technically, not getting much though. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the big, the big uh, reveal will be coming later, I suppose. Right, because we are getting things. Okay, so there's been a little leak on social media. Mm -hmm. So part of the Butterfly 25 or part of the uh, exciting experience of just the Butterfly era in general was a lot of those great remixes that uh, she gave us for the songs. Yes, of course. And so we love a David Morales remix. Love. So he on his social media suggested that something new is coming. Yes, I think he posted like a um like a flashback photo or what do they call them a throwback Thursday. Yes, yes. Um, so he posted a photo that was of him in the studio back in the day. He said, "A true milestone in my career, feeling grateful for working with Mariah." And then current day, he said, "Back in the day, working with the legendary Mariah Carey, definitely a highlight of my career. Look out for a new Mariah Carey remix." Right. So everybody's thinking that's Butterfly 25 related. And I think it is. Well, okay. It could be one of two things, Butterfly 25 related or something brand new. Right. Didn't say. Did not say. But we know that he's all there on the Honey remixes, all the remixes. So I think it might be a new remix of an old song or a new remix from the Butterfly album. But what could he do? I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how he does what he does. The thing, no, I mean, like he's done the things that deserve a remix from Butterfly. You think? Well, maybe um, Butterfly the song. Yeah, amazing mixes. Don't touch uh, those. No, uh, honey, honey, of course, amazing mixes. Um, My all, great. Yeah. Okay. The roof. Okay. Um, I don't else? know what he's got. I don't know what he's got coming for us. Maybe it's not even Butterfly 25 related. Well, that's what I mean. Maybe we just talk ourselves into these things. That's why as I was thinking, I was like, hang on a second. We've got all we need from we, Butterfly. We do have. And him. Yeah, we do. Well, we want more. But that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> what could it be? What could be more? <laughs> I have no that? idea. Because I... what's left that he didn't do? Fourth of July, Breakdown. Yeah, but some of these songs, like, don't need a club mix. That's what I mean. Yes, I know. You know, like. Um... Beautiful ones. No, no, a, no. Outside, outside. Don't even think don't, about it. Don't need a club mix for that. Close my eyes. Don't need a club mix. No. Uh huh. Mm -mm. What if he does like a mega mix? Unless, oh, mega mix. Maybe okay, mega that's mix. a good suggestion. Yeah, that'd be so fun. Like, one song rolls into another. That could be good. That could be cute. I mean, he knows how to do it. Yeah, he knows how to make it cute. He actually did a really good mega mix during the pandemic. Did he? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm forgetting what it was. How many mega mixes of Mariah's do we have? Like one or two? Official or just ones? One? I think yeah, this is like ones. an official Dave Morales mega mix of oh, his really? songs. Yeah. Oh gosh, I need to brush up on my mega mixes now. And you need to like get an app. Oh. Can someone remind us what that was? Please do. But I remember it was good. You had to like listen to it in the moment. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I listened to it then. It was pretty good. Well, you know, he he does good work. Oh, wait. What, what was it? I just had a um, <laughs> click in my brain. Okay. Maybe he's doing something for the global citizens. Oh. We're going to the club at the concert. Maybe. That could be fun. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm feeling the vibe. All right. All right. Girl, we got things coming. Something's up. Something's up. Something is up. Something is up. And we know that Mariah has been talking about being in the studio for a million years now. Mm -hmm. So there's vocals. Yes. There are things. 
to look forward to. Yes, exactly. There's got to be. Exactly. Now, one of the things that we always look forward to for Mariah is Christmas season. Yes. Love it. You know, all I want. It's number part, one, number one. Part of the package now. Exactly. We just have to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be in love with Christmas for the rest of our lives now uh-huh. because we're lambs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just how it goes. <laughs> I will say I am looking forward to playing Fall in Love at Christmas again soon. Cute song. It's cute. cute. It's it very might, cute. I want to see how it aged a year later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't listened to that in a minute. And there were good remixes, remember? Yes. Little cute little remixes. And I'm also over the anger of you know the other situation <laughs> that we were promised. <laughs> And the Apple TV. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so we'll, that, yeah, we can revisit it. We'll revisit. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. But what is not fun are all these people coming for Mariah. I'm of two minds with it. Okay. So the story is Mariah apparently has filed to trademark the term Queen of Christmas. Right. And she did this um, last about a year ago right. is when she filed. Right. Yes. So she's been, and I don't know how long it takes for those things to, you know, go through the system or whatnot, but we're just now hearing Mm -hmm. that people are rejecting it or um, or, uh, opposing it. Right. That's the right way. Which will sort of foil the process for you. Yeah. Because remember Kylie Minogue foiled Kylie Jenner's uh, trademark? Yes, absolutely. As she should have. Mm -hmm. Because Kylie Minogue has been around forever. Right. She's old. Like, don't even get me started on that one. Right. <laughs> but people like try it. They try and do slip it in. Yes, they're they're trying it, and they're trying it with Mariah. Now Kylie Minogue ended up getting her trademark or whatever, winning, so, yeah. winning. And I think Mariah is going to do the same here. You think? I do. No, I, I think she's going to lose. You do? Yes. <gasps> Scandal. Tell me why. <laughs> I think the other people have a legitimate uh, claim. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, who are the other people? Let's set let's set the stage. Let's also set the stage. How, what's the process of trademarking? It costs like 50 bucks to get started. Like she probably just did it with a whole bunch of other things to trademark. Yeah, and this is this is something that Mariah does all the time. She has 100 trademarks, this, that. That's just what people in business do all the time. Yeah. You sort of almost have to. On that sort of level. Exactly. Otherwise, people come to sue you afterwards if mm-hmm. you don't do that. Right. So it's almost like you have to get it first. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, I bet Mariah has trademarks that she doesn't even use. Remember, mm-hmm. weren't there a bunch of trademarks that she tried to do like maybe a year ago or so? I think that's part um, of that. I think this, oh, this is probably part of that. Then. Yeah. yeah uh-huh. Because she trademarked a bunch of or submitted to trademark a bunch of things. And Sometimes they don't even actually come to fruition. Right. But you just do it while you're there. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. While the lawyer's on the phone, <clears throat> just throw here, do all these. Throw those words in there <laughs> yes. just in case. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, actually, didn't she want to do All I Want for Christmas is You as a trademark? Something like that. That's yeah. probably all in the same document. I think, yeah, it was all at that same moment in time. Yeah. Um, but now we have uh, some people who are opposing it and they seem real upset. Now, one of them claims that she's the queen of christmas there's two so there's elizabeth chan she's the one who's claiming no well also darlene love and she's not the queen well someone was telling them that they were well somebody lied to them many times <laughs> <laughs> well here's the thing like here's the argument are they also the queen of christmas okay. is there room for more more than one uh, see if so does mariah have the right to trademark I think she has the right to trademark it just because, and maybe this is just me because I'm a lamb, so I might be a little biased, but like she holds more credibility and power when it comes to Christmas overall because she is such a branded force. Mm -hmm. She's been around forever. Mm -hmm. Same thing that the reason why Kylie Minogue was able to get her trademark because, again, she holds more power. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I think Mariah would get it. Why not? Uh, <laughs> well, here's where I'm torn. I, I also want to move away from Christmas. So I'm like, do we want to solidify it with the government? Okay, well, that's valid as well. But you know, when it comes to like, you know, products and things of that nature, which she's obviously going to be doing yeah. for a long time to come, she needs these trademarks. Also in my mind, like what's she going to sell that? I want to buy this as Queen of Christmas. Well, exactly, girl. We're not buying the merch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm like, it's just but a headache for nothing. Those people are. It's just a headache for no good reason. 
Yeah, I mean, this definitely is a headache, but I also feel like, you know, um, I feel like the ladies who are posing Mariah, they're doing this just to get, you know, their names in the headline or something like that. I don't know, because uh, the one woman, she claims she's the queen of Christmas because she only sings Christmas songs. Mm -hmm or she only records Christmas songs, nobody has ever heard of you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nobody. So mm -hmm. you are a queen of nothing but your own home. Mm -hmm. That's what you're the queen of. Yeah. Now, Darlene Love, she has been around for a while. She's very well known. And her biggest hit is Christmas Baby, Please Come Home. Which also charts regularly now, right there. Yes, next yes to it Mariah's. does. Yeah, absolutely. Although, you know, I'm, I think Mariah's version is better, but whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a fan <laughs> she, favorite. She she posted on her social medias that, you know, um, David Letterman had crowned her the queen of Christmas on his show back in like 20, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, that's cute. I love that. I love that for you. I love you and your song. Mm. But David Letterman isn't the crowning person. He doesn't get to, you know, he's not the queen. Right. He's not you, Santa Claus. No. What do they do when they put the, you know, they knight you, anoint. they crown, anoint. Yes. The, David Letterman doesn't anoint. He's not anointing no. anybody. So right. that's your problem if you believed him. His lane is comedy. Yeah. Not Christmas. I'm sorry you believed him. <laughs> he was lying to you. <laughs> but, well, I don't know what to think. I don't know either, but I think Mariah's just got a whole mess to deal with here, but eventually she's going to get it um in in her power in her court you think i think she's just gonna drop it you think let it go what if she has something like serious or major planned with the that phrase no or whatever you would call i don't it. think so no not major well we'll see i don't know how long it, it takes to litigate these things but we'll we'll know by christmas if we got uh you know a commercial with mariah queen of christmas then but, we'll know but here's the thing this if she loses the trademark she can still make whatever she's making it just wouldn't be trademarked. Right. And are these other women, are they trying to get the trademark? No. For themselves? No, no. No. They just think Mariah shouldn't have it. Well, it just means like now um, if Darlene wants to put it on her Facebook page or whatever or sell her own stuff with that, her okay. own merch, she can still do it. Okay. Whereas if Mariah trademarks it, she can't do that. Okay. So, you the, know? okay. So I see. But still, girl, I just think this will make this a headache and a thing. Just wrap it up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, let it go. It doesn't have to be a thing. Because we really know doesn't. that she has other words trademarked. Let's focus yes, on those. That's true. That's true. You know, I don't know. I still just want Mariah to win just for the, you know, validation of it all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she was thinking like that when she did it. No, probably not. But I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I just think it's... It, ridiculous for let her trademark it if it gets approved it gets approved if it doesn't then it doesn't mm -hmm. but why are you why are you worried about her the only thing i would think that you need to trademark it for is maybe other people selling mariah merch with queen of christmas on it with mm. her with mariah carey like branded stuff right or silhouettes or whatever i don't know that's the only thing i would think well you know what it also sort of reminds me of is people that are like legendary and iconic other entertainers like michael jackson's the king of pop i think that's trademarked to him is it i think it might be wasn't elvis the king of rock and roll king of rock and roll uh, madonna the queen of pop uh-huh you know i wonder if those are trademarked as well good question i mean we never see like merchandise or anything really branded that way but be like in the whole you know culture society of things you say the king of pop you know it's michael jackson you know what i mean do the kids know that oh the kids don't even know who michael jackson is yeah so <laughs> that's what i mean <laughs> you're talking about ages maybe 30 and up <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know but that, i think that's interesting now you queen of christmas king of pop all that kind of stuff i think falls under there mm. and mariah's just naturally known as the queen of christmas now i'm sorry mm -hmm. sorry for us i'm sorry for them ladies <laughs> <laughs> i think it's been blown out of proportion i guess it's it's not really that big of a deal but i feel like darlene love and that other lady like they're really upset about it yeah they seem upset they do and it's like girl it's not that serious get over it We'll see what happens, though. Well, maybe we'll keep you updated. Maybe for Darlene, that's like an annual check she relies on. 
true, true. So yeah. it's like coming for her bag. Right. Yeah. But I don't know. Did she? Uh, here's the other. Are these women writing Christmas songs or they're just singing Christmas songs? I think it's just part of the festivities. Okay. Just Noted. At the time. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> The annual gig, uh huh. Okay. Like Mariah's, apparently. Yeah. Well, I mean, Mariah's over here writing Christmas songs. I'm just saying. True. Yeah. It's true. That's it. That's all I got on that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep an eye on the story. Let's see what happens. Yes, absolutely. But I think the fact that we have two people opposing it means it's in trouble. Mm. It's not going to look. I think it's not going to look good. True. Because one time, okay, I thought we were over this topic, but now I'm remembering. <laughs> Back maybe like 10, 15 years ago, didn't Paris Hilton try to trademark something like that's hot, that's hot or something? And it didn't go through. Yeah. Because it's like too general of a term or something. Like you yeah. can't do that. Right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the final note for now. That's all I got. Yeah. So it does get, so it it does, gets spoiled. Yeah. It gets, it gets denied sometimes. Mm -hmm. So you never know. And again, the, the Queen of Christmas thing, it's been going on for over a year now. So there definitely have been some hiccups along the way, mm -hmm. other than what we're just hearing about now. Well, see, I wonder how they found out about it. Exactly. Like, what were they doing? Were they Googling who is the Queen of Christmas or who's trademarking what? Yeah. That's why I'm wondering, are they trying to trademark it? But apparently not. No, they found no, out. They, they just might want to use it. And if Mariah has it, they can't. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Anyway, we've got to follow. We'll follow up. We'll follow up. We'll let y'all know. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, what else is going on in Mariah's world? Okay, well, we need to get into the headlines, which is that there was a robbery. But I think let's take a quick splash break and we'll come back and get into it. Let's do it. The Mariah Report is supported by PodcastCBD.com. Use the promo code REPORT to get 10% off of any purchase and free shipping on orders over $50. Dan, I'm so excited to bring this product to our listeners because it's something that I've been taking for a while now. And at PodcastCBD.com, you can get something called Wild Gummies. They come in the raspberry flavor. They are delicious. Now, I've been hearing everybody in the streets talk about CBD this, CBD that, and I have no idea what CBD is. Think of it as a natural compound or even as a supplement that you add to your health regimen. So CBD is something that your body makes naturally, your brain makes it, especially after you exercise. And so taking a gummy uh, gives your body a boost. And I actually used to be a skeptic until I realized that I was doing it completely wrong. Well, how? what were you doing wrong? How are you supposed to do it right? So when I first tried it, I was just taking like one dose. I wasn't even measuring how much I was taking. I just tried it and hoped for the best. And really nothing really happened at all. I didn't feel anything, didn't do anything. So I just thought it was bogus. However, somebody explained to me that what you need to do is measure how much you're taking. So for example, the gummies, the wild gummies, they are 25 milligrams a piece. And then so you know the, know the dose and then you take it daily to get the benefits. And what are the benefits of these CBD gummies? So the main one for me is that I used to have horrible sleep issues. I couldn't get to sleep, couldn't stay asleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night. I wasn't falling asleep until 2 a.m. It wasn't good. So I started taking these to help with that. And I found it really did help me fall asleep earlier. And I was able to stay asleep and I was waking up refreshed as well. That was the main benefit of it. And I also found it really helped with my anxiety that I had. It's brought me back from an anxiety attack several times. It kind of just takes the edge off it. Again, nat completely natural. And then the shocking thing that happened was it really cleared up a lot of my joint pain after a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. And unlike taking a Tylenol or something like that, that just covers up the pain and temporarily relieves it, it actually got rid of the inflammation in, in my joints. Well, these benefits sound real yummy to me, so I might not need to go get some of these gummies. Yeah, so make sure you head over to podcastcbd.com, use the promo code REPORT to support this podcast, The Mariah Report, and get yourself some premium lab-tested hemp CBD products. Okay, we're about to get into the big headline. However, we do want to give a special shout out to our Patreon members and for some reason, they hate us. They want to see us suffering. They want to see us in pain. And somehow the hot wings challenge has become a thing. Uh, people over there want us to do it. However, it is a little bit pricey. So we have set a goal. If we get 10 more Patreon subscribers, 
we will do a Patreon exclusive video of me and Dan eating hot sauce and chicken wings yes. and probably sweating, crying. Yeah. I don't know if Whatever. everybody out there watches hot ones, but you know, all the celebrities go and what, how many hot wings are there? Like 12? I think maybe 10. 10. Ish. And they go yeah. like in incremental amounts Scovels. of <laughs> Scovels. Yes, the heat <laughs> index. Thing. Um, and so we're, let's see uh, if we can do it. Cause I think I can handle hot food, but I don't know. It's a challenge. That's it's a the challenge. Whole point. And then you have to also answer questions. See, I think that's the hard part. Right. Like talking while your mouth is burning. Yes, that's the gag. That's of all. the hard part. Yes. Um, however, Patreon wants to see us do it over there. So we'll do it. Maybe we'll answer like Mariah's. Get them to ask us Mariah questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. While we eat hot sauce. Please. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to eat just the hot sauce. It has to be like on something, I guess. Um, exactly. Anyway, so if we get 10 more Patreon subscribers by the end of the month, we'll do that yes so if you want to contribute go to patreon.com slash the mariah report you can sign up and then you can cancel at any time exactly so no no uh restrictions or anything like that yeah no contract no oh, strings yeah, no con- oh yeah no strings no contract none of that yeah none download the app too if you want to check it out patreon the links are in our episode description so just go check it out yeah why not 10 more people will do it Yes, we'll burn our mouths. We- <laughs> <laughs> for you guys, for the show. Yes. For the show. Yes, for the people. Yeah. Come on. Okay, before we get into uh, what happened to Mariah's house, mm-hmm. since we're in the crime department uh-huh. now, uh, so you know Salman Rushdie, the author that got stabbed? <gasps> yes. Not too far away, but let's connect it back to Mariah. Uh-huh. Used to be married to Padma Lakshmi. Yes, yes. Who, by the way, has the best hot wings video Yes, she does. She kills it. it. She yes. kills that challenge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she talks about glitter on it too. Yes. Yes. Looked that up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of years ago, she did that. Yeah. Uh huh. It was a good one. Yeah. Padma Lakshmi, Hot Ones. Yeah. Great video. Very Mariah good. moments in there. She's too. lovely. Love Padma. Lovely. Her ex husband is Salman Rushdie. Yes. And he is um, uh, recovering, thankfully. Got attacked. Yes. Yeah. Wild. Padma is glitter. I mean, gl- silk from glitter. <laughs> Padma is glitter. Yeah. Silk from glitter. So we know the, the, the connection right there. Yes, yes. Peel back some layers, Mariah's there. Always. You can always go back and find Mariah. It's like the six separations of... Six degrees. Six degrees of separation of yeah. Kevin Bacon. You can do that with Mariah, too. Easy. Easy. Very easy. Yeah. Or at least we can. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. So okay. Um, let's talk about the big news. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So Mariah has, we reported this before, uh, months ago, I believe, that she moved into a new house in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And so she's been there for, I guess, the the whole year this year. She has. Yeah. Ish. It, well, and then she went on vacation. Well, also location of the Butterfly Lounge. Oh, yes. I think we uh-huh. saw some inside of it during the masterclass. Yes. And um, was that also in um, the Fall in Love at Christmas video it was yeah so all of that that's the that's the butterfly lounge over there so at the time i thought it was a good idea back then why the butterfly lounge just moving to atlanta oh okay <laughs> well yeah after we report this news yeah now, now we have to reconsider yes uh so she's been in atlanta she bought a house however coming uh through all the social media this weekend according to the daily mail Yes, but uh, all the pla- all the places reported all it. the official places too. Yeah, uh, there was a break in at her house while she was away in Europe. Yes, remember we were talking about her going to the Dolce and Gabbana show. Mm-hmm. She was on the uh, the yacht, mm-hmm. all that kind of good stuff. She was, you know, relaxing and living her life. All the while, her home is being burglarized mm-hmm. in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like I said, we don't have too much information. However, apparently, it's a gang. Oh, they're doing it to other houses as well. They found out she wasn't. Well, okay, here's where they blame Mariah. They're like, well, she posted that she wasn't home. Okay, but everybody posts that they're not home. I know. That's just how, that's just the day we live in that. But also, what about Home Alone? You know, the movie? Yeah. Same thing. They went on vacation. The robbers come. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. That's what happened. That's just, (laughs) we've been known that. Yes. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, so the police had, we don't really have any photos. They don't know who did it. We don't know what was stolen. But in my mind, I just think burn the whole thing down and move back to New York. Yeah. 
What do you think? That, stay in New York? Exactly. Yeah, stay in New York. Too many windows and doors. Uh-huh. The streets are crazy right now. Yep. We don't need Mariah. I imagine she was home. Well, they probably wouldn't have, you know, robbed it if she was home. They knew she wasn't, but... No, yeah. no, no, because Marlo Hampton from Atlanta Housewives, she was home when it happened. She, she was? got robbed, yes. When the intruders came in? Yes. In the house. She's watching Did them she on call? the camera. No, she didn't. Yes, yes, no. yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. That's scary. Right. So I don't think it matters if you're home or not for these people. Oh, wow. And That's... she's in Atlanta? Yeah. She's a housewife yes, in Atlanta? Yes, yes. Oh, no. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Home or not, they're coming for you, girl. I know, which now I'm thinking, let's not go back there. Let's not go <laughs> Let's not go back there, because Mariah is still in New York. Stay. Um, well, that's High-rise apartment, doorman building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The problem with these, these big Atlanta homes, too many windows and doors. It's very true. To climb in. Every window and door is an opportunity for someone to break in, do this, do that, whatever. But also, you know, I... I don't know how rich people live, like, really, but, like, you have to have extra security just because you're a rich person mm -hmm. and you own a huge home with valuables in it. Mm -hmm. So, like, where's the security? You don't have a security system? Like, what happened? Where's the ring camera footage? Exactly. What's going on? Yeah. And then Mariah being Mariah, doesn't she have extra security because she's rich and Mariah Carey? Maybe they went with her. No, somebody has to stay home, girl. Someone has to be watching. I don't know. Yeah, who was in the house? Yeah. Nobody was home? Oh, my. I don't know. They won't. They didn't really give much information because it's an ongoing investigation. Right. So they didn't give a lot away. But, yeah, I want to hear more. I need to hear more. But still too scary. Very, very scary. My only thing is I hope they did not find the butterfly room. You know they did. I hope they didn't. Soiled it up. Right? Dirty fingerprints. Footprints. Gr dirt. Ugh. Ugh. Girl, what if they stole the plaques? Oh. What if they stole the awards? That's what we need a list of what was stolen. I need yes, I need a full rundown. What if they stole the heartbreaker jeans? Girl, what where are they? Yeah, where are the Oprah earrings? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> we need to do inventory. Yes. I hope somebody has an inventory of where everything is and what's gone and what we have. Girl, I'm telling you, my uh, my thing, though, is because she's only lived there for such a short time, probably like whatever, eight months, maybe she didn't have like a lot of her, you know, a lot of her like, you know, very, very valuable things like, you know, she just those are at the house in New York still because that's her main place. No, here's why I'm worried about that. Why? Because the New York house is under construction with construction folk coming in and out. Are there still construction people there? I imagine it takes years and years. I don't know what she had done. In my mind, it was a big operation. <laughs> I think it, I would hope it's done because she's living there now. She's well, there yeah, now. So I'm sure there's something, there, it's livable. But either right. way, but yes. In my mind, everything got moved out to Atlanta. Oh, no. In the meantime, not. I think the construction on the house has been done for a minute. Do you think? I don't, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know either. To... I just remember it was under construction. <laughs> we never got word that it was finished. <laughs> true that is true but i don't know i just hope she didn't have everything moved to atlanta you know like the butterfly jeans are still up in that closet mm. you know all that kind of you know the butterfly jeans i mean <laughs> rainbow i jeans. know what you meant <laughs> um so i just you know i hope that there wasn't a lot there but yeah. i think there was because that butterfly room was full honey but those rubbers are not gonna look at those ripped up jeans and go oh let's take those True. They're looking for the big stuff. And also my thing is like, you know, let's say they stole like a a plaque off the wall, you know, from the butterfly room. Um, Where are you selling that? What are you doing with that? Mm -hmm. Are you giving it to a lamb? Because that's really the only thing you can do with that. And who's going to want a stolen plaque? No. Like, what are you going to do with it? Yeah. So that's my thing. No, I think they're going for jewels and stuff. Yeah. Jewels and, you know, bags, shoes. The bags and shoes. Yeah. They're resellable. The resale. Those are, yeah, those are things that you can definitely do. So maybe like, you know, the Mariah-ized items are, are safe. You know, a, a good Birkin, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars for those. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Please. The the vandals and the thieves, they're about. They're running. Also, remember when she lived in LA, she got robbed? Yeah, but I feel like that was an inside job. They're, well, they're either or. It's either or. True. 
True, true, true. The thing is, again, too many windows, too many doors, too many yep. Birkins laying around. Mm -hmm. But that was in LA, that was also a rented house. My point is doors and windows. Oh, we already get, we need we, to get back know. to New York. Yes. <laughs> where yes. there's less doors and windows. Or like or they're up high. Yeah. You're up high or you're in like a really safe gated community. Now apparently this neighborhood in Atlanta is a gated community. Yeah. But still, like there's too many opportunities for people to come in. You mm -hmm. just never know. Mm -hmm. You never know. Although, like, yeah, you know, you never know. Where is the security? Mm -hmm. Fire them all. Yeah. You know what I mean? That'd be like oh, someone breaking into Oprah's house over there. No. Yes, exactly. Um, well, maybe the maybe the gated security gated community was, uh, you know, a false sense of security. Well, probably she, they thought maybe they can just leave the house alone. Yeah. No, you cannot. Mm -mm. I mean, that's the crazy thing about being such a public figure. Like people know where you live. Yes. They know when you're going to be away. So that's why you need the extra security. Listen, we're still in a pandemic. There's a lot of hungry people out there. True. Unemployed. Yeah. Hungry people. Who are, you know, desperate for anything. Right. Robbing and stealing. So the risk of getting to jail is not a big deal. Oh, yeah, because they get food there. Yeah. At the reward of, you know, robbing a house. <laughs> Take the risk. <laughs> they know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's too so. dangerous for Mariah in the streets. I'm telling you. No, no, no. Back to New York. Back to New York. I'm pretty sure she'll probably be in New York until after the Global Citizen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she'll probably be there, stationed there for a while, which good is time, fine. Good time of year to be in New York, too. It is. It's nice. It's a lovely time yeah. in New York, you know? Mm -hmm. So we'll see. But yeah, thank goodness uh, nobody was harmed. Mariah wasn't there. The kids weren't there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when it all, when everything is said and done, Mariah's safe, kids are safe, then we're happy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But, but I don't want to do, risk it. I do want to know where them Oprah earrings are. Yes. I just, I need to know. And I want to see <laughs> surveillance footage. Don't tell me there's no ring cameras set up. Oh, uh, there's, there there's got to be. be. There has to be. Yeah. They're, they better catch these people. Yeah. And get all the stuff back. Yes. And yes. jail. Jail. Jail to all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> do you know who this is? This is Mariah. <laughs> How dare you? I know. Rude. That's rude. 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 But also, yeah, also brazen, too. Yeah, exactly. I, like, I wonder if they knew. Yeah, they knew it was her house, of course. Everyone right? knows. Everyone knows. Because we might have told them about it. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it was Google who told them, not us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, again, Mariah's safe, so we're all I good. I know, I know. But just what we don't want to be dealing with right now. Yes. No, that's what we got. Robberies. Mm -hmm. We got Trademark. trademarks. All kinds of things. Yeah. And we're just over here trying to get some Butterfly 25 going. I know. Come on. Yeah. But anyways, um, that's that's the report for the week. Yes. That's it. So hopefully we have no more crime reports to report next week. But we'll keep you updated, of course. That's right. And don't forget, join us over at patreon.com slash the Mariah Report for bonus content. You get the unplugged version of this ad free mm -hmm. and extra there's like a pre-show after show situation happening and what else i mean all of that and that's it oh it's like subscribe to us on youtube oh yeah youtube oh, yeah uh-huh youtube go over there um rate review subscribe on the apples and the spotify that's right all that share with your friends uh-huh you know it all helps it yeah all helps. every little bit and there's more information in the episode description, so check that out. And we'll see you on the next episode of The Mariah Report. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Reezy Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.